If you've been thinking about buying a manufactured home in an active adult or 55 plus community, as we call them, you may want to reconsider. I get lots of calls all the time from people out there in my YouTube family asking about these communities. On the surface, they look great, but today I want to set the record straight. In the old days of Arizona retirement villages or communities, whatever we're calling them these days, um, Arizona and many places, Florida, I'm sure too, and lots of places throughout the country, Palm Desert, you know they all had these communities. I know for a fact they did because my grandparents were trailer people. They lived in a mobile home in our town and they had these friends, Ralph, and Lola, I know you're getting a picture in your mind, I won't give you the voices, but um, they match the names. Um, they were cute little people and they came down to Arizona every single winter to enjoy that active adult lifestyle. Remember though, we didn't have back in the 1950s for the most part any official places until Sun City came along and we had an official retirement town or retirement community built by Del Webb. Before that, this is what people did. They came to these mobile home communities where they might play shuffleboard, get together for cards, maybe they went off and played a little golf, just hung out and enjoyed their retirement days. Fast forward to current times. Now we have stick-built home communities, Pebble Creek, Sun City, the villages in Florida, um, all of the, the trilogy communities across the country. And we've come a long way from those little mobile home parks. They've also added super amenities like big fitness centers, you know, 32 pickleball courts, all of the things we talk about here on this channel. Well, guess what? There are corporately owned manufactured home communities for active adults or 55 plus that have very nice facilities and very nice homes. These communities are often developed by the park owners themselves. What a good way to sell those new homes, right? Same thing as the big developers, Del Webb, Robeson, all of those developers do, but in those communities, you own the land. In these manufactured home communities, you don't. What a great way to sell their product, right? This is not your grandma's trailer park for sure. They've got nice amenities, they've got a clubhouse, they've got beautiful pools, they've got lush landscaping throughout the community. What's not to love, right? Well, let's dive in and I'm gonna tell you more about this affordable, hmm, maybe, housing option. Evaluate this idea though, you can see quickly it's a trap. Now I know I'm gonna get comments from some of you guys out there in YouTube land that say, no, I love my community. Great, bring it on if that works for you, whatever. But when I get calls from you guys saying, I have $300,000 to put down, I'm gonna pay cash because I have to have a new home and I wanna be in such and such community, Ugh, I cringe. In fact, um, I don't sell those communities. Now, I'm licensed to sell those communities. I could sell those communities. It's a very easy deal, cha-ching, cha-ching. I make money doing that. I don't want to do that. I have to sleep at night. I cannot in good faith tell you guys that's a good option when I know there are better options. Let's talk about why. So I get why you guys want these kinds of homes. The brand new ones and even a lot of the used ones are very new and fresh and clean. Everything is manicured. Again, it's not like an old people trailer park. It's very, very nice, but that's only on the surface. Prices are in the higher 200s and the 300s. Okay, still very affordable, right? These people envision themselves paying cash for their new home or getting a mortgage and living out the rest of their retirement days in their great community, hanging at the pool with their friends in their neighborhood. Sounds dreamy, right? Mm, not so much. Let's continue. The nightmare begins when you really start to dig into the total pricing. Now, some people will pay cash, as I said, other people might want to finance these new homes. Well, let's think again. 
these are not regular mortgage rates. Those rates already are hovering in the sevens. Um, I don't see them going down anytime soon. Add quite a bit on top of that for these manufactured homes. Now, why is that? Well, it's because lenders don't really get excited about lending on a property that you can move away in the night. Now, obviously nobody's gonna hitch their home to their truck and pull it away in the night. You know what I mean. Um, it's not affixed to the foundation. It is sitting there and it can be moved. That is a risk to the lender. Anytime you have risk, you're going to pay a premium for that. Strike one. For any buyer, the next problem is going to be your very biggest drawback. In these communities, you don't own the land. You can't own the land. You will never own the land. It is owned by a big corporation or even a medium size investor, depending on which park in which part of the country that you're in. And you don't have any say in what those monthly costs are. Now I will tell you from an investor standpoint, these manufactured home communities are a big, big thing right now for profits. And so a lot of investors are scooping them all up and bundling them into a mega corporation. Why? Because they make money every month when you pay your lot rent. Yeah, that's going to include your amenity fees, but this is not like a $250 fee. Right now, it is very common to see monthly lot rents in the 800s, the 900s, and maybe you can swing that today if you're 65. But remember, we're heading into the phase where we're all in a fixed income. What you can pay today might turn into 1,200, 1,400 a month as um, you get up in years. And we all know that inflation is hitting seniors very, very hard. Food costs, healthcare costs, gas costs, all of that is going up, yet our income is going to be fixed. You don't want to be adding hundreds of dollars per month that is totally beyond your control to your monthly budget. Your assets are in a place where they're probably depleting. That's our end game here is to start with a high pool of investments. And as we live and enjoy our retirement years, that number is going to go down a little bit every month. But if you have to start paying extra lot rent and you don't have the money, what are you going to do? Again, you're not going to be able to hitch your little wagon to your truck and drive away in the night. It can cost thousands of dollars to move. And then where are you going to move to? Another park that's also charging high rent, it's not going to be a good option. Strike two. Now the worst thing that can happen, and it has happened in quite a few places around the country, you can do a simple Google search and see people on news reports literally in tears talking about this. Past few nights I can't sleep because I don't know what's gonna happen not just to me, but to everybody. That is when that big investor says, hmm, this land that used to be rural is now very valuable. I'm going to sell my land. And one by one, the people in the park have to move. Then what are you going to do? Again, thousands of dollars to move your home. Maybe you don't have another place to go. Maybe you're 85 and you can't even figure out how to get it done and there's nobody to help you. That is a big, big issue. Again, zero security as far as your housing is concerned. Strike three, they're out. So if we want to look at good alternatives to this situation, it's, it's very easy. Let's just find you a very nice community that is affordable with a nice stick built home. They are out there. I have had people call me asking for the manufactured home. Then when I explained to them, Hey, you could get a very small mortgage put together with your cash, or if you have the availability of funds, just pay cash and pay a very small HOA fee. That seems to make sense. Then if something happens, you need to move, you become ill and you know, your kids need to come take care of you or something. Um, you have got an asset that is sellable. Again, uh, uh, this is kind of a no brainer for me, but some of you guys are just not 
knowing that this is an option, you may think, oh, regular houses, that's, that's not in our budget. We're not those kind of people. We've always lived in a manufactured or mobile or modular home. This is what people like us do. No, not necessarily. There's no reason you can't be in a regular community and have a good investment. What I would say is please, please um, click the link below in the comments and let's schedule a time to talk about some really good options for you. Let's talk about the raw numbers and compare um, one to the other and I think you'll see that it is just going to make good sense. Now, I'm not saying that manufactured homes do not have their place. They are an amazing product for many, many people around the United States. However, generally that means in a rural situation where you just don't have mass home builders or maybe you own a plot of land, um, it can be a great way to go. But in a 55 plus situation where you will never own the land, I have to say, guys, I advise against it. And I don't want you guys to get into trouble. My job here and my goal is to educate you to help you make the most of your money and the most of your lifestyle. So please reach out to me at the number below on the screen, send me an email, or simply just click the link below. I'll pin it in the comments and let's set a time for a quick conversation just to talk about all of your options and then you'll be able to make the best plan for your life. I hope to talk to you soon.